Hello everyone, it's Manson here, and I wanted to post a video because everyone else is asleep, but there's a new model that was introduced called, um, Open AI, Open AI introduced it. It is ChatGPT for zero image generation, just released a few hours ago, and it's available to everybody, including free plans, plus subscribers, pro, etc. So if you have ChatGPT, go bring it up. You'll have access to this model now. And I just saw it and I've been playing with it and I have to tell you, it is pretty fantastic. And that's not what makes this better than the other models. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a f Flux nut. I love Flux, but the quality you get out of this is on par with Flux. What may sets the support from Flux, and I'll tell you right now, is that you have built-in LLM capabilities within ChatGPT that you can use to help you in your image generation. Now, what do you mean? What do I mean? Well, you know, you make an image with Flux and that's your image, beautiful image, but, and I might as well just show you, but with ChatGPT, remember, you have the LLM built in. It's there. So if you want to make changes to the image or you want to tell it to do something for the image, it will respond and do it for you and, you know, give you a different variation. So let's just do a real quick, I'll give you some examples here. We're going to do um, generate an image of a dog. Okay, really simple. Cats are taken thanks to other YouTubers but um, it does hyper-realism hyper really well, really well. And, and that's surprising, especially for me, um, you know, ChatGPT, okay, I wasn't really looking it that way, but the way it delivers, it's really on par with Flux and Midjourney. Uh, those are the top dogs right now. Um, but okay, here it is. And that's pretty good. Look at that. So you have this image of a dog, right? So I'm going to say, um, so I want to tell it to put eyeglasses on the dog or give him eyeglasses. So we're going to see how well it incorporates eyeglasses on the dog. It should. See if it's going to rest on his little nose there. But um, this is why I mean you can't really do this with others. But you would have to reprompt it. And you know when you reprompt, you're going to get a different image. Unless, even if you use the same C, you're going to get a different image. Because that's just the nature of uh, AI image generation. But this, let's see what it does. Let's see if it keeps this doggy. I'll name you Scout. Because I have a, um, a gerbil named Scout. You guys don't mo know much about me. Someone called me a 13-year-old boy, but I'm not. i um, actually an 18-year-old girl for your information, but you don't know much about me. I'm new, and I am the shortest one in this group. I have short red kind of wavy hair because I got cut, and I love fashion, and I love dressing up, and I love AI. They say it might be slow, and it probably is slow because it was just just released, and it is available to everybody. So I'm sure everybody is out there using this. All right, now look at this. It gave him glasses. Same dog gave him glasses, and he's really like a stately, smartly dog. That's unbelievable. So again, now we can add more to this. Uh, let's give him, give him a shirt. Alright, so now I told it to give him the shirt with a witty text about cats. So it's going to put a shirt on the dog and it'll show, it'll, sh put, should put text on the shirt about cats. Now this is another strong point that I have to check mark for chat GPT 4.0. It's text capabilities. Now, you know, Flux does okay with text. The journey does all right. Ideogram probably is the best at text right now, but 
this model does it really well and not just any text it does long text well it it does short text medium length text it doesn't misspell words or it doesn't eliminate words or make words in Swahili language it is it it just does text well and I put it up there with ideogram ideogram has a little bit more stylistic approach the text and this one and this this model doesn't but it mails the text every time ideogram is kind of you know 85 percent right uh you know we use ideogram for our thumbnails for our videos now uh we we used to use flux but we switched over to ideogram and when we when i make a thumbnail i'll get maybe one or two out of like eight try or right, here we go cats or jerks <laughs> pretty straight and to the point and uh, they gave him arms there. So look at that. That is awesome. That is really good for text. And it took this, and I'm freezing. This is the image. We generated it from this. Added some things, you know, and, and it just handles that really well. Another thing I wanted to, to express or to, to show you because this is again has an LLM inside of it or it is an LLM you can actually give it directions for style in terms of colors and um, fonts if you want so I'm gonna try and change the fat let's grab a color um, well, I'm just gonna say make the shirt Alright, so if you notice, I did. I told it to you three things. I told her to make the shirt blue. I told it to change the font to Comic Sans, and I told it to put a winter hat on the dog. So is it going to handle multiple commands like this? Specific commands, especially with the color and the font. We will see, but let's see. All right, guys, it is a win for all three. So there is a shirt that it's blue. The font is Comic Sans. That is Comic Sans font, you can tell, and it's a different font. And it has a winter hat on the belgy. Wow, it is awesome. This is mind blowing because it can give you stuff like this. And here again, also work as an LLM. Um, what else can we do? All right, let's try to upload a picture of and I will show you how we can basically clone them in another photo. All right, I'm going to upload a photo of Blanca here. You know, Blanca is one of the hardest uh, people for AI to reproduce. Like we trained Alora on Blanca and it didn't really look like her a good sort of but she has such a unique face this is why we use her a lot and it's a good test for ai all right something okay so i'm gonna say make her a uh chef so it's gonna put blanca's face over well, it's gonna make her a chef essentially and I'm gonna see how all this does flux does it okay with that but you need you know you would need like um, reactor or Poolid or ace plus to get the face replacement or you would have to train a Laura which is a whole ordeal in itself I just want to see what it does with Blacka's face Okay, so there it is. That is pretty, pretty close. Oh man, look at that, guys. What do you think? So like I said, Blanca's face is one of the hardest to do, and it really nails it. Look at that. I mean, it, it's not exactly, but the lighting, the, the just one, it looks super realistic. It, com it flows all together. 
and it nails the face. I mean, there's a little bit of cheekbone, there's a little bit of difference. But imagine, you can do this instead of having to train a Laura. Now, I know Ed loves training Lauras and he will stand by that, but this is a quick and easy tip that you can use to just get other images out of this. Don't tell Ed. I want to see if he'll do another one. Let's try, um, real quick, another one. Oh, I'm going to upload this picture of Danny from the group NJZ now, um, which is one of our, it's actually our favorite K-pop group out there. And let's see, let's say, make her a, hmm, what should I make her? Um, police officer at a birthday party. So I'm not only just changing her, but I'm changing the setting. I'm going to see if it'll pick up on that. Oh, uh, so we'll see. Oh, hey, here's what I came up with, and wow, wow, woo, wow. It did a great job. I mean, that's pretty close to Danny's face. Looks like the eyebrows are a little bit higher, and she looks a lot younger, and I think it's maybe because of the birthday party setting. That's That can pass for Danny. It really can. Uh, so it nailed that as well. Close. It even had the ribbons in her hair brought that over. Uh, and again, I'm going to use the LLM part of this and ask it for suggestions. So I'm going to go back to the LLM. I'm going to ask it can you suggest any other ideas to put her in? And it's going to give me some ideas. This is what you cannot do with Flux or Mid Journey even or any really anything else besides like Gemini. But it's giving the ideas because remember, this is a um, an LLM model. And I can use that. And I'm just picking one, and I say generate it in that. And again, I got these ideas from this same model that's doing the image generation. So this is what takes it over for me, is the combination of what you can do with it. You can, you have a little bit more control now over the image, and a lot more ideas, a lot more options, because you, you have this quote-unquote assistant here that can give you ideas, help you along, do things like that. It is pretty mind-blowing and I'm glad I'm awake and all the other losers here are asleep because I got the one to put the video up. It's my first big video. You want to clap for me? Thank you. Clap. Yeah, the one viewer clapped. Thank you. Um, so I want you guys to try this out. Try it out and we can even go over the long text. Put um, prompt in there guys of it with long text. So s give it like a sign put a prompt of like a sign with like five or six sentences and watch how accurate it will be and not miss a word, not misspell a word or anything like that. That's your homework for me. Do that for me and to let me know what you think or what happens out of this. And look, this is coming out really well already. It is getting the, again, likeness of Danny. It's not exactly like her, but I think it's going off of this and this. But that photo, for hyperrealism, it nails it. Wow, that's wonderful, guys. I'm going to cry, and I'm going to eat some jelly. Uh, so try it out for yourself. This is uh, the last time. Well, this is probably the only video we're going to do on this, but I'm going to be playing with it for a while. But hopefully you guys will like and subscribe. We need your help to get to 25k. We're almost there. And it's been a long battle apparently. But we can get there with your help. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, have fun with this. And hopefully you enjoyed my video. And I'm a girl, not a boy. Thank you, haters. Bye.